Imperial Japanese Navy submarine I-19 took her time to approach her target, USS Wasp, one of the first and smallest aircraft carriers developed by the U.S. Navy. As Wasp recovered her aircraft and patrolled near Guadalcanal to thwart enemy reinforcements, I-19 advanced silently, remaining undetected. USS Wasp, displacing over 19,000 tons due to the limits of the 1920s Washington Naval Treaty, was the first U.S. carrier to be fitted with the deck edge elevator for aircraft and radar. Still, she had to sacrifice these features for her armor, making the carrier extremely vulnerable to bombs and especially torpedoes. The Japanese crew of I-19 were unaware of this, but still proceeded with their mission. Once they were within range, the submarine launched four torpedoes in quick succession. One of Wasp's lookouts suddenly spotted them and shouted, quote, three torpedoes, three points forward of the starboard beam. Wasp desperately put her rudder over hard to starboard to avoid the lethal salvo. The crew braced for impact. The clash between the Japanese I-19 and USS Wasp harkens back to a bygone era. But what if we told you that you could bring the intense battles between the US Navy and the formidable Imperial Japanese fleet to your own computer? With World of Warships, you can now immerse yourself in meticulously recreated naval battles in the 20th century, where strategy and skill take center stage, blurring the line between history and gaming. Constant updates introduce new aircraft carriers, battleships, destroyers, cruisers, and submarines, all meticulously crafted based on historical documents and actual blueprints. This ensures that no gameplay is ever the same. Moreover, its stunning, lifelike graphics and dynamic weather effects allow you to feel every wave and gust of wind. What's more, you can join a community of millions of players where history buffs and gaming enthusiasts discuss tactics and share their passion for naval lore. And with availability on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and even your phone, you can steer and command your fleet wherever you are. Sit back, relax, and embark on your naval journey by clicking on the link in the description below and using our code HPPYNWYR2024 to receive a huge starter pack, including a free ship, 300 doubloons, 1 million credits, 7 days of premium account time, 3 Santa crates, and more in-game cosmetics to deck out your ships. From the historical depths of the Pacific to the digital waters of World of Warships, your oceanic adventure awaits. The USS Wasp aircraft carrier was a result of the Washington Naval Treaty signed and negotiated between 1921 and 22 by the world's powers in the aftermath of World War I. The United Kingdom, France, Italy, the United States, and Japan agreed to the treaty's restrictions to prevent another arms race that could lead to another major global conflict. The treaty articles imposed restrictions on the overall tonnage of warships, the weaponry they can employ, and the numerical limitation of fleets. Warships were limited to a tonnage of 35,000 tons or less. This included both capital ships and aircraft carriers. The US and UK were limited to an overall fleet tonnage of 525,000 tons, Japan 315,000 tons, and France and Italy agreed to a limit of 175,000 tons. Nevertheless, the treaty was renegotiated a second time in 1930, and a third in 1936, paving the way for more powerful vessels. Still, each navy worked secretly to develop warships that exceeded the limitations. America's 525,000 fleet tonnage limit could be compared today to the equivalent of five Nimitz-class supercarriers. Over 135,000 tons were limited to aircraft carriers of which each individual carrier could weigh less than 27,000 tons. Some of the U.S. Navy's aircraft carriers built following the restrictions of the treaty were USS Saratoga, USS Langley, and USS Lexington. USS Langley was the first American-built Navy carrier and was considered an engineering experiment that was not included as part of the treaty. In addition to these three aircraft carriers, the U.S. Navy allocated 14,700 tons of its remaining carrier tonnage limit to develop a small carrier christened USS Wasp. The aim of this development was to experiment with a light fleet aircraft carrier that was built with speed in mind. 
to fulfill this purpose and not violate the Washington Label Treaty, the carrier compromised armor protection to save weight. USS Wasp would become the only aircraft carrier of her kind in the U.S. Navy. The eighth ship to bear the name Wasp was authorized by Congress in March 1934 during the height of the Great Depression and laid down in April 1936 in Quincy, Massachusetts by the Bethlehem Shipbuilding Company. USS Wasp was finally launched on April 4, 1939, sponsored by Carolyn Edison, the wife of Assistant Secretary of the Navy Charles Edison. She was commissioned on April 25, 1940, at the Army Quartermaster Base, South Boston, Massachusetts, with Captain John W. Reeves, Jr. as the aircraft carrier's commander. Upon her launch, USS Wasp displaced upwards of 14,900 tons, reaching the very limit of the Washington Naval Treaty. Nonetheless, she could weigh up to 21,000 tons under full load. She had a running length of 688 feet, including a flight deck of 720 feet, with an overall beam of 109 feet and a draft of 20 feet. USS Wasp was modest by the standards of fleet carriers. Externally, Wasp's design was nothing out of the ordinary. The main defensive armament and communications array were centered near the superstructure to keep the flight deck clean and open for the aircraft. From bow to stern, the flight deck was entirely rectangular and flat. Wasp's only unique feature was her island's tall smoke exhaust tunnel. USS Wasp was also the first carrier fitted with the deck edge elevator for her aircraft. It consisted of a platform for the front wheels and an outrigger for the tail wheels. She was equipped with three of them. The small carrier was built with low power propulsion machinery that provided over 75,000 horsepower to save weight in space. Her six water tube boilers gave her a maximum speed of 30 knots and an estimated range of 12,000 nautical miles. Wasp had a crew complement of 2,170 officers and enlisted men. She could carry up to 100 aircraft, four hydraulic catapults in the flight deck, and two in the hangar. The ship featured one of the first radars installed on U.S. Navy ships, the CXAM-1 radar. Wasp was armed with 830mm main guns to attack surface vessels, 16 anti-aircraft guns for use against hostile aircraft, and 25 12.7mm heavy machine guns to fend off enemy dive bombers and torpedo aircraft. Wasp featured little to no armor at all. Only four inches of armor covered vital compartments, such as the machinery, magazines, and fuel rooms. Other sections, such as the island and the conning tower, only featured between 0.75 to 1.5 inches of armor. Wasp had even less protection from underwater torpedo attacks. Wasp also had a unique round bottom and a hull reinforced only to the hangar deck, making her susceptible to extensive damage. Her best chances of survival at sea were outmaneuvering the enemy and the crew's prayers to avoid a swarm of enemy bombers. Wasp went through calibration tests during the summer of 1940 and spent Independence Day in Guantanamo Bay. She then ran drills with other warships and qualification trials with the 1st Marine Aircraft Group. As war engulfed Europe, USS Wasp and other Navy warships began to patrol the waters around its coasts as the country became more involved in the battle for the Atlantic. These security precautions led to the U.S. occupation of Iceland, allowing the British to free more troops for combat in Europe. Wasp delivered vital Army aircraft to Iceland in July 1941 and joined Task Force 16 to deliver the infantry occupation force. In late August, she went on patrol searching for German cruiser Admiral Hipper, but never sighted her. The carrier and her crew continued neutrality patrols until the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor and Germany's and Italy's declaration of war on December 11, 1941. USS Wasp and other vessels were dispatched to the Caribbean and West Indies to keep an eye on Vichy French warships in the region. Still, no combat ever broke out, and tensions were soon dissolved. In April 1942, USS Wasp arrived at Scapa Flow as part of Task Force 39 to locate British Supermarine Spitfires and other aircraft to participate in Operation Calendar, a series of convoys bound from Malta to deliver Spitfires to fight the Axis Air Forces. The aircraft carrier delivered two waves of Spitfires 
that were crucial for the tenacious resistance of the British and Maltese against the Luftwaffe and the Regia Marina and Aeronautica, with Prime Minister Winston Churchill later sending a message to WASP crew that read, quote, Many thanks to you all for the timely help. Who said a wasp couldn't sting twice? USS Wasp was called to join the fight in the Pacific Theater in June 1942. Although the Japanese Empire had been defeated at the Battles of the Coral Sea and Midway, it was still making conquests in the region. She quickly stopped at French New Caledonia to carry fighter aircraft to be delivered to the Marines for the fighting at Guadalcanal. In August 1942, she took part in the amphibious landings on the island, supporting American Anzacs, British, Fijian, and Tongan troops. WASP successfully launched Wildcats and Dauntlesses to target radio stations and other targets at Tulagi, Halava, Helta, Bongana, and others. During low-level strafing passes, WASP squadrons surprised and destroyed over 20 enemy flying boats and floatplane fighters. The Dauntless dive bombers also destroyed several anti-aircraft and shore batteries without losing a single friendly aircraft. While 10,000 men landed on Guadalcanal, WASP's fighters provided air cover, and a dozen Avengers dropped bombs against Japanese ground troops and fortifications. By the end of August 8, 1942, WASP's aircraft had destroyed one Zero, eight floatplane fighters, and 15 enemy flying boats at the cost of one Dauntless scout bomber and three Wildcat fighters. Later in the month, USS Wasp conducted a search and attack mission with 24 Dauntless and 10 TBF Avengers to strike Rear Admiral Raizo Tanaka's convoy, but did not find it. USS Wasp continued operating around Guadalcanal to prevent a Japanese invasion. On September 15th, Wasp, North Carolina, and Hornet, alongside 10 warships, delivered the 7th Marine Regiment to the island to continue the fight against the entrenched Japanese. At 2.20 p.m., Wasp recovered some of her aircraft after a patrol mission. Twenty minutes later, one of her lookouts suddenly reported, quote, three torpedoes, three points forward of the starboard beam. Out of nowhere, Japanese submarine I-19, lurking in the shadows below, fired a spread of four torpedoes. The inevitable occurred moments later. Wasp put over her rudder hard to starboard, to no avail. Two torpedoes hit the carrier, one after another, directly impacting the gasoline tanks and magazine compartments. The fourth torpedo passed ahead. Still, the damage was already done. Flaming blasts engulfed that part of Wasp. Some of the aircraft in the hangar and flight decks were thrown with such force that their landing gears snapped. Others fell and collided with each other, leading to fires in the hangar and the decks below. The gasoline fires then detonated the ammunition of the forward-firing anti-aircraft guns on the starboard side. To make matters worse, the fires could not be stopped as the explosions destroyed the water mains. Wasp listed to starboard, and with no options left to stop the fires, the captain gave the order to abandon ship at 3.20 p.m. The abandonment took over 40 minutes. Four more explosions shook USS Wasp at night. The result of the surprise submarine attack took the lives of 150 men and 25 officers. USS Lansdowne fired five torpedoes to put Wasp out of her misery. Three made their way home, but Wasp remained afloat. The battered carrier was now a burning pile of oil and gasoline. She finally sank at 9 p.m. by the bow. The resting place of USS Wasp remained undisturbed for almost 80 years. In early January 2019, the renowned crew of RV Petrel found the wreckage of the sunken World War II aircraft carrier. RV Petrel, one of Microsoft founder Paul Allen's exploration team vessels, found USS Wasp after a successful streak of World War II discoveries that included USS Lexington, Ward, Helena, Indianapolis, and the Japanese battleship Hiei. Petrel, a 250-foot-long research vessel originally developed for servicing oil fields, discovered USS Wasp due to its team of historians, divers, and submersible pilots who combed the Pacific in search of Navy warships sunk during the war against Japan. The aircraft carrier was located almost 14,000 feet below the surface in the waters of the Coral Sea 
between New Guinea and Australia. Petrel side scan sonar device located USS Wasp after detecting it with acoustic waves that bounced off the sea floor. The team also relied on the help of an automatic underwater vehicle or AUV sensor that propels and guides itself at depths of over 18,000 feet, gathering data that was used by the team to pinpoint the exact location of the fallen American carrier. Regarding the discovery of the aircraft carrier's wreckage, Captain Colby Howard, the commanding officer of the current USS Wasp, said on behalf of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, quote, We are humbled by the sacrifice of those Wasp sailors, especially those who paid for our freedom with their lives. For now, the U.S. Navy has no intention of disturbing the wreck. However, Sam Cox, a retired admiral who heads the Navy's historical department, has noted the discovery would help the Navy assess the real damage the carrier suffered and how it can be applied to carriers slated to be built in the future. Cox noted he does not fear USS Wasp will become a victim of illegal salvage operations that have destroyed several American, British, and Dutch ships in the past years. Resting at 14,000 feet, no pirate ship will disturb the resting place of one of the most important American aircraft carriers during the early years of the war against the Empire of Japan. Take command of your own fleet in World of Warships. Immerse yourself in like like graphics and the thrill of real-time strategy in naval battles by clicking the link in the description and using our code HPPYNWYR2024 to claim an exclusive starter pack. Your adventure awaits on your screen.